Hello, today I'm going to tell you a bit about my instrument, uh, which I'm very passionate about, and which is maybe one of the more unusual brass instruments that you hear in the orchestra and bands and lots of different places. And of course, we are very familiar with a lot of brass instruments. Um, for example, the euphonium, which is like a small tuba and looks like this. Now, there are a few things that are the same in all brass instruments. For example, these valves. I'll be telling you a little bit more about that in a minute. And of course, the most famous probably brass instrument of them all is the trumpet. And this is a great instrument for people who want to learn how to play a brass instrument to begin with even, before they move on to maybe a different brass instrument in the family. And look, here we have the three valves again. And maybe this is the reason that brass instruments are so difficult to play. Because all other instruments either have holes to cover and uncover, just like the tin whistle. You play your notes by going and you just blow into the mouthpiece. On a piano, you just press the keys. And on a stringed instrument, you press the string and strike it with a bow. Now, my instrument is a little bit different in the brass family in that it has a different kind of a sound in that it can play very mellow and it can play quite loud and heroic, as we call it, like hero music. And here's my French horn. And as you can see, it has the three valves like all the other brass instruments, except of course from the trombone, which has a big slide to play the notes. Now, my French horn is one of the oldest instruments ever invented in the world. I suppose it began when a caveman was standing at the foot of his cave and he leant down and picked up um, the horn left behind from a dead animal. And he picked the horn up and he looked at it and he wanted to signal his wife who was in the distance or a group of his male friends to come and have a meeting. And he picked it up and he blew through it like this. And he discovered that the sound he made through that horn was louder than the human voice and also it had a different quality. And from that very simple thing, the French horn began to evolve. Now it began in a very primitive state at the start. And I have for you an example of my hose pipe, which is exactly the same length as my French horn if I were to unravel this like a length of hose pipe. Now, it has the same theory as any brass instrument. It's a piece of tubing. It has a hollow hole throughout the middle of the tubing. And I can actually play the hose pipe just the same as I can play any brass instrument. I'm gonna put my mouthpiece in and it's my mouthpiece that makes me a brass player. It's a dead metal object shaped like an ice cream cone. And I pop it in there and I can play like this. Not a very nice note, but a note. And in fact, because I'm a brass player, I have to be able to play my own notes without any help of pressing holes or pressing buttons or anything. So I'm going to play a scale without doing anything except blowing. <laughs> And that's basically how the brass instrument began. Now, as the years evolved, the horn began to develop, leading eventually to my modern version. Now, how I play my horn is, I have to buzz my lips. So very simply, I go, as though I'm spitting something out of my mouth. Um, that's how you kind of um, get the shape of your lips and then you pierce them. So you don't whistle. That's not going to work playing a brass instrument. And you don't hum. Mm -hmm. Not going to work. You have to create a vibration to go through the mouthpiece, which then goes through the tubing of my horn and out through the bell at the end. So I'm going to buzz my lips. I'm going to play my mouthpiece. <gasps> A scale without any help into the horn. I'm going to do the same thing. So 
now I only have three valves to play all my notes and there are four octaves as we call them. There are eight notes in an octave and uh, that means 32 notes and then there's all these things called sharps and flats. So way over 55, 60 notes I have to be able to play with only three valves. So I'm going to kind of show you what I mean. If I don't press any buttons down, I can play this. So that's a little bit about the French horn and its origins. And I look forward to talking to you again shortly. So don't forget to practice all your ideas by buzzing your lips and looking up all about the French horn as some homework. Thank you, everybody.